what is going on people welcome back to the channel sorry for being a little bit slack since the competition i've had a lot going on i've spent a couple of weekends away at a competition and just visiting some friends since since it is now legal to do that so i wanted to take advantage training hasn't stopped of course i trained in bethnal green for a day as well as mama for a few sessions so you guys will see a little bit of mixed footage over from over the last few weeks um, this was my second post single of the block I went up to 260 um, since then I fit 280 uh, with calibrate plates at home so I'm not looking too bad at the minute training has been going pretty well I would say uh, for the most part squad in particular has been quite solid in terms of strength but it just doesn't feel that good like Execution wise, it just, just doesn't feel good at the minute. I'm not really sure why. Um, it's just one of those things. Training dosage is very, very high at the minute, especially with doing a little bit more additional lower body work. Uh, making squat feel a little bit more shakier than normal, I would say. Uh, but still, like, very, very strong considering. And then deadlift, total deadlift volume is up by a pretty large margin from previous blocks so that probably has a lot to do with it as well which is fine uh, bench on the other hand has been like weird I've, I've been having like a little bit of tilt bar tilt like I'm really struggling to like kind of pinch my scaps together uh, which has been kind of annoying it really shows in these videos like it just doesn't look as good but it's fine it is what it is I'm really working on like making sure my shoulders and my hips are moving well and stuff but this one I need to move like reasonably well by my standards not too bad at all um, it was nice to go down to Mammoth and like hang out with the boys and just get my sessions in I've been trying to pause my back of work a lot longer on bench um, as of late just making sure um, I'm sticking to like really high standards I'm expecting like pretty pretty strict judging at the British in like three months time so I want to be prepared for the worst and not be prepared for the best um, uh, I've been doing a lot more like what you would consider non-specific pressing volume so like I've been going away from the barbell secondary movements for a couple of sessions a week and that's been helping a lot just keeping training a little bit more exciting on one end which is in my opinion excuse me should always be a consideration as well as just um, perhaps having a little bit more time away from like secondary barbell movements will allow for better progression in the future um, especially since I got ages till I compete I'm not I'm in no particular rush of being strong I'm just like really trying to like build some good technical habits and like feeling good under the bar and just generally like making sure that like all my habits are like where they need to be so when it's time to crank things up I'm ready I don't know why I'm yawning all the time I'm not even that tired anyway um, in terms of training what training is looking like at the minute I am training five days a week same as always, the split really hasn't changed, I've got SBD on Monday, bench only on Tuesday, Wednesday off, I've got squat and bench on Thursday, deadlift only on Friday, and belt squat and bench on a Saturday, so um, technically squatting three days a week, but not really, and I'm benching four days a week and deadlifting two times a week right now, so that's been pretty good. Um, one thing I must say is like, especially in these videos that you see right now, which are like week two my back was like absolutely roasted so locking out was like pretty painful um so this 280 wasn't as good as it could have been but that's all good i did two guys to last week and three under this week excuse me on the other hand these like wide grip rds have been like absolutely phenomenal for me i feel like um i'm getting a lot out of these and these are very challenging without building up a lot without building up a lot of systemic fatigue um, so that's been great as well just like really trying to grow the hamstrings trying to grow the back build for a big total um, I've been doing a lot more horizontal and vertical pulling as well you can see I'm doing some dumbbell rows here I've been doing some dips I've been doing some inclined dumbbell presses um, just a lot more perhaps what you would consider like non-specific variations from competition lifts which one person would think it's perhaps less ideal or less optimal for progression and some people would think it could be more optimal since it's less fatiguing because you're using less loads comparatively I think both arguments are right in their own sense you kind of just have to pick which one 
you prefer and which one yields better results and gives you better response in the long run. Um, I've seen better response from being more specific, but also it kind of mm, makes me feel a little bit more achy some days as well, like having some RSIs are like almost inevitable when you're doing the same movement patterns over and over again. So sometimes doing something different can be a little bit more beneficial just on that front so you, you should perhaps consider that when you put together a program and you're like looking at your exercise selection uh hybrid on the other hand has been pretty good um i hit 232 last week and then no 242 last week or 240 and i did 235 last the week before i can't remember um haven't got my spreadsheet in front of me but uh back of work has been really good on on a high bar i did i think it was like 205 for for now, I'm sick, maybe two times. And it moved really well. And then this was 200 a week before, I think. Uh, yeah, it's just quite straightforward work. Normally, the first block after a meet is always a little bit tricky to kind of get the feel for everything, but not doing too bad at the minute. Um, next block, I'm expecting it to be a lot better. Uh, all my competition singles are paused singles. So it's paused deadlift single, a paused squat single, and then obviously just a normal paused bench single, which I do twice a week. Um, this one at 7 wasn't too bad, I would have been happier with a better pose, but that's all good. And then I had, if I remember correctly, correctly it's at 5 and 155, um, and it's just pretty straightforward work, bench has been pretty solid. Yesterday I hit 164.7 at RPE 8 on bench as well, so not looking too bad considering. Normally I get a nice little boost when I go more specific, um, and then my close grip work has just been absolutely phenomenal. Like. I always struggled with like a narrow grip and longer range of movement, but uh, having 115 for like sets of 12 is like very, very good for me. And then I've been doing a lot more pull ups, kind of taking a step away from the pull down machine. Um, again, it's like they both have their benefits. Obviously, with the pull downs, you can measure the progression of weight, and then with the pull ups, it's just a little bit more demanding. Um, so perhaps you can just weigh that which one you want to do. Um, and then this deadlift set was at the end of an SBD day because I had to do three days of training in two. I had 250 for nine, uh, which I think is a PR on calibrated plates. I can't remember if I've done 250 for 10 on like gym plates and like a gym bar, like a long time ago. But uh, yeah, that's been pretty good. Uh, that's been like super solid. Um, I haven't really changed all that much other than just doing a little bit more high repetition work and see if it kind of pays off. And then obviously just the usual wide, wide grip uh, deadlift, you just sets off. 10 here with 150 I'm not looking to push these up until the end of next block when i'd like to take like 190 or 200 for sets of 10 uh, which would be pretty solid um and then also i've been doing my hyper extensions like quite heavy as of late just because i don't really i'm not really worried about being strong at a minute i'm worried about just getting getting better rather uh for lack of better term and then i had some tempo doubles here with 160 um, not particularly happy with the tempo to be honest um, I know I could do better um, this week I will do better and then I finished the week with some dips but that's pretty much me just rambling on about my training I will have a bit more regular uploads going forward thank you so much for tuning in and listening to my rambling if there is anything in particular you guys would like to see let me know but until then see you guys next time peace